Okay, stay tuned. Cool. You can start now. Okay, we managed to solve all the technical problems now. Hi, Besna, and thank you so much for uh, joining that talk with me uh, once again. Uh, I know uh, we, we have met lately uh, in Croatia, and uh, well, we're in contact since quite a while already, but uh, luckily that summer I found uh, the time to finally come to Croatia and to have a look personally uh, based on all the data you have sent me, and I, I have also forwarded to the commission. And, and I mean, I tell you that that visit was sticking to my mind all through the summer because I mean, seeing satellite pictures and hearing reports is one thing, but standing there uh, mm -hmm. in the ecologically protected zones in the Tour 2000, in Ramza Ornithological Reserve, you know, like very precious nature protected areas. And then just to see that whole landscape being clear cut and digged by by machines and, and drained uh well i mean that was that was something that uh was sticking to my mind across the summer how, how is the situation in the moment that's nice you see any new developments oh, well thank you for your invitation but first uh, uh, shall i uh, say who i am or oh yes yes sure <laughs> Uh, I'm uh, Vesna Gergic. I am uh, president uh, uh, of the Veterans Association called uh, BIDRA. And it is non political. It's important. It's not political, independent, not government, and non profit association. Also, I'm leading BIDRA's section, which is established, uh, exclu uh, uh, established with the purpose of fighting for the preservation of the environment and primarily forests. That's me. So uh, uh, I'm happy you saw for your eyes what's happening here. Because we were in, in contact uh, uh, during two years, I, I think. And I sent to you a lot of uh, pictures and a lot of materials and a lot, lot of documents, evidence. But uh, I can agree if you see with your eyes what's going on, it, it must be horrible, shocking. So, it, it, it was, it was Vesna and uh, um... But Thomas, uh, although creation forests and uh, uh, must comply with Natura 2000 providers, you are witness, we are witnesses that they are, uh, they have been violated for years, they, they violated now, you know, all the rules, all, all uh, they, uh, uh, they that was written, uh, 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 we are witnesses of violation. So that uh, was one of the reasons I called you. Uh, besides, uh, uh, I sent to commission our uh, 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 reports about all of that. So the, because so big desolation, desolation we haven't seen in all our lives. It is, it is especially uh, also politically important for the European level in the moment, uh, as we are uh, debating a lot around uh, the different uh, measurements uh, to save biodiversity. Um, and, and it comes with uh, the package of the Green Deal. You, you find different policies that, that talk about new possibilities to defend biodiversity, like farm to fork and so on. And the debates that we're having uh, is, is, and the direction the new laws are proposed is exactly the opposite of what I have seen. And I mean, we can talk about how to run a commercial forest there. I'm sure I have different points of views than Hrvatske Schumann but especially when it comes to already protected areas, uh, you know, making big scale clear cuts is in terms of climate policy, exactly the opposite of what the European Union is trying to do in the moment, to actually have forests collecting CO2 and sequestering it in the soil. And by clear cutting such huge ranges, you're um, re-emitting the once already sequestered CO2 from, from, from the forests. And then especially when it comes to wetlands, like Chernembaka, where we have been, 
they were draining the whole area. So they were digging channels to actually get rid of the water. And, and this, is, this, is, this is the most harmful strategy you can have for wetlands because this causes immediate CO2 emissions. And what such a clear cut is doing to biodiversity, I, I don't need to explain that. I mean, it's a disaster, isn't it? Thomas, uh, unfortunately, you saw only the three examples of devastation uh, in the whole Croatia. Uh, uh, if you will have time, I will show you more 100, 150. 50% uh, 50 of them are under uh, uh, strict protection, either uh, Natura or, or uh, Ramsar Convention. You must see uh, other fields. Because uh, Hrvatske Shume uh, doesn't care. Forest is money, quick money. They have low prices, they, they sell it, and uh, the, to you, uh, everyone and everyone can resell it uh, somewhere when, uh, where the prices are bigger or higher, higher three times, four times, or, or higher. You know, it's quick money. And uh, we are witnesses for uh, uh, three, uh, three years we are doing this. We are struggling with, uh, with uh, uh, this topic. Uh, uh, we are witnesses that uh, uh, our, all forests are vanishing, in fact, are disappearing. It's something incredible. It's, it's shocking, you know? It's not only, only the protected areas. Even uh, the Croatian forests uh, always denied it. And they call that liars, etc. Et I don't care. We have documents. We have uh, more than three thousand documents from from their management, uh, in which we can clearly see that they are losing wood. The uh, in the last ten uh, ten years uh, uh, is is where you can clearly see is is missing uh, uh, about twenty million cubes of wood. And uh, it's, not... uh, we are talking about more than one billion uh, billion euros. You know, you, you know what happened, Vesna? When when you know uh, after I, after my visit, uh, I had a few weeks of holidays. But now when I came back to the parliament, what I did is I published the first video on Chernim Laka. This was the first part of uh, of, the, of the publishing, and uh, and I also wrote a letter to the commissioner. To, uh, and with the material also, with the proof, with the footage we did ourselves, but also with the, again, with the satellite data and, and maps that you were uh, um, uh, contributing in your organization. <laughs> and what happened is that within a few days, uh, Hrvatske Schume published a statement where they were massively attacking me. They were saying, I'm, I'm doing damage to the Republic of Croatia and uh, I, this is an unqualified uh, um, uh, um, estimation that I'm doing there. And the letter was quite interesting because it showed actually uh, how they are arguing and how they are not understanding what the concept of environmental protection is and how to kind of get that together with a mild and close to nature forestry. They were accusing me uh, that, well, that I was not contacting them and not listening to their expertise. They said they had to clear cut this whole area because there was some dry ash. So as I've seen the forests there, it's mixed forests with all different kinds. And yes. for the environment and yes. for biodiversity, a dead tree is not a problem at all. It's the other way around. The dead wood is super important for biodiversity in such forests because it holds the whole um, uh, animal, the whole, whole groups of animals that live in the forest are based on the food that is actually growing in the dead wood. So beetles, insects, all of this. This is feeding the birds and the birds then feeding the, the hunters and so on and so forth. And so, so that wood is something that we like to see in environmental protected areas. And to argue just because there were some single ash trees that died from that fungus, to clear cut like a thousand yeah. hectare or more, that is a real cynical argument. And then they said, yes, these planted trees they have planted there, um, they needed to plant them because they needed new varieties there. We have both seen these forests, the still remaining forests. And this was very healthy, very biodiverse forests, which have all varieties of plants. So you have a natural regrowth where the plants regrow, which are fit for the new climate 
environment and biomass. And what they said is, well, you know, all these tubes, they were empty or either dead trees in there because it was so dry. And at the same time, they were digging all these channels to dry out that soil. So, and you know, they even mentioned, they said, but you know, these plants, we, we paid it from our own revenues. Well, sorry, what else? I mean, if you cut the whole forest, if you take all the profit, then, I mean, this is the most logical thing that you can expect from any forestry that they, they plant or they, they make sure that something is growing there again. So their argumentation is really cynical and very ridiculous. So I'm actually quite happy about the statement they have published. And I published today a counter statement where I, where I unveil all these, all these, uh, where I counter these arguments and show that Hrvatsky Schumer has not even a little bit understood what uh, environmental protection is about and what close to nature forestry is about. Uh, and and I, I, this statement was was so so clearly showing that uh, that they are really not fit for the future. Uh, and I think I think the consequence for Croatia has to be to. Uh, take away all the nature protected areas, Natura 2000, Ramsa, take it away from Havatsky Schumer, because Havatsky Schumer is yeah. obviously only interested in maximizing profit. And that, that doesn't yes. work together yes. with environmental protection. I think they should get kicked out of these forests and you need another, another institution that is taking care for this. What do you think? I think it's a hallelujah. I think it's a, it's a, a very good idea. It's a only approach, in fact, because uh, with this story uh, uh, they are telling us uh, for years. Uh, uh, in fact, they are call us uh, uh, not professionals. We don't understand. They have a, uh, uh, they know how to do it. They are, uh, always had. Uh, uh, inspections and uh, they show uh, and the inspection said uh, it's uh, everything okay it's fantastic it must be like that but uh, common sense told us we are not professionals at uh, first place common sense told us something's wrong as i told you when when you saw varuski look for instance if uh, uh, the forest must be like they uh, uh, told us it must be like that without forest forest with one tree here and another there in one hectare one tree then uh, something some, something is terribly wrong because we have we are old enough we know instantly how what the forest is we are not stupid consequently we are not stupid but uh, nobody cares. They, are, uh, they had uh, for years a, a whole story. They told uh, uh, to our politicians, oh, everything is okay. And at that, that point, I uh, must uh, uh, talk about uh, corruption because it's close connected. Because uh, Hrvatske Shume are managing uh, with our forests uh, based on uh, uh, managing pl plans, which are strictly approved by the Ministry of uh, uh, Agriculture and Ministry for uh, Defense uh, for uh, uh, Environmental Defense. You know how could it be? Ministry of uh, uh, Environmental um, uh, Protection must know, must be there. And the answer we found. Even uh, 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 forestry inspection is with them in this chain. You know, they are covered, covered in one bowl, and they are doing what they are doing, no. talking one. And uh, besides that, I'm happy if you uh, can uh, go uh, with this, uh, go through with this uh, decision. In, in fact. Uh, because they are expecting a lot of money for a special plans. How can they uh, manage uh, manage uh, with the protection areas, etc. First, they, are, they will cut all, and then they will be concerned. And the second answer, in fact, alibi is uh, is climate uh, climate change. Climate change is oh, it's it's horrible. The uh, plants uh, cannot live. Uh, it's too dry, etc., etc. So no, well, I'm I'm yeah. grateful for for this decision. No, we, we have seen actually this big poster there, which says 
Well, we have planted these trees with 85% of co-funding from the European Union. So it's, they're already using European Union money to try to cover up their devastation. And, and the, the, the way they treat Croatian forests overall, up to now, I'm not really able to comment on that because it's still 100% national competence. That's why I have to focus on the nature protected areas because they have an idea on the EU legislation. And there I can really make clear where the wrongdoings are. So I'm, I'm focusing on that in the moment, but maybe you have heard, <coughs> sorry, maybe you have heard about the forest strategy. So the, the commission has understood that we can only reach our climate and biodiversity goals if we make sure that forests are at least treated in a sensible way, in an ecological sensible way, and that we cannot reach our climate targets or become CO2 neutral if we don't actively involve forests as collectors and not just collecting it and then clear cutting it and re-emitting it, but collecting it in the forest and keeping it in the soil. And you can only keep the CO2 in the soil if you keep a forest cover always. There is ways of closing to nature forestry. It doesn't mean that we have to leave our hands completely out of forests, but we need to treat them sensibly. And, and there's a huge resistance from nation states, different nation states, uh, against the forest strategy. They're campaigning against the Commission because they do not want the European Union to make sure that we have minimum standards on ecological or close to ecological forestry across the European Union. And I very much hope that we from the parliament side, and there's enough governments with us that we put some rules in place uh, also for the commercial forests, not just for the yeah, I, environmental protection. Common sense, yes. But that's a big piece of work in front of us. Uh, uh, I hope it will be soon. Because uh, uh, we are uh, uh, at the field day by day, night by night. They are cutting all, all green trees, all, uh, without mercy, without uh, uh, exemption. It doesn't care because it's money, you know. And after that, that they, they will. Uh, so if you are talking about uh, uh, forest, and uh, if you will not be, uh, uh, I don't want to be misunderstood, sorry. But if you don't want to hurry, hurry with the de decisions, you will not be in position to manage with anything in Croatia. That's the problem, you know? So that was my uh, uh, hour, in fact, uh, from the Green Squad uh, uh, intention. And uh, we uh, uh, sent in our report our suge suggestions. First, to stop all cuts. And second, uh, uh, to see what we have, what, what is still here, what, what we can manage with, you know? And then after that, uh, manage some pl plan uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, 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 do it uh, again from the beginning, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But first, uh, in my opinion, uh, because I saw, uh, saw uh, 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 nearly whole Croatia, whole situation. We were everywhere. Our mm -hmm. activists were everywhere. So we saw, saw the real situation. It's worst then you can even imagine, Thomas, just trust me, you saw only, only a little part. I mean, I, the, the, they also argued uh, in their letter, the Horatsky Schumann letter or statement, they also argued that they are FSC certi certified yeah. and that they, they, they had people there checking all the accusations and everything. Uh, that, that's also quite interesting that they react like that because FSC is just a minimum standard a minimum standard of, of non, not complete devastation standard for forestry. So FSC basically says you have to replant after a clear cut. But you see, out of our modern and now- and they don't ask the why, do you no. why do you cut? Uh -huh. No, so, so, so this is enough for FSC. And FSC is a certification for commercial forests, for commercial forestry. And yes, FSC is better than clear cutting and not planting. 
yeah that, that you can even be more devastating than, yeah so fsc is, is has a certain value but fsc is not a criteria quality criteria for environmental protected forests not at all so if you say i am following fsc criteria in an environmental protected forest you're actually already committing your wrongdoing because you're that means you're following principles of only only commercial interest and uh, and actually the minimum standard you need to require is to have as we've seen the one or the other single poor old crappy <laughs> tree standing per hectare or to replant uh with 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 species and and so so that that they actually openly show that they do not understand that environmentally protected forests do not only follow commercial interests, but they have to first follow environmental interests. And under that roof, there can, there can be a certain close to nature, also commercial use. But this looks completely different than what we've seen in, in Maroshki Luka or in Chernimlaka. A close to nature forestry means there's always forest cover on every single hectare. There's natural regrowth. You can take single trees, groups of trees, maybe a line of trees, but you always have trees of all age on every hectare yeah so there's sensible ways to even in environmental protected areas have a certain commercial use but the first interest must be the the, the ecological use so climate biodiversity and also migrating birds because chernin Malaka is very important for migrating birds uh, and like around the lake you see the you see the the clear cuts yeah, already yeah. so they're actually committing that they do not understand what environmental protection means because they argue with FSC standards, which is completely ridiculous, actually. It's out of range. You know? It shows only this uh, part. They, they uh, were going uh, 20 years, uh, very easy. You know, nobody asked them what is uh, with this, what is that, uh, why, why this, why that. And uh, uh, now, uh, uh, new time is coming new new situations uh, are here and uh, i'm i'm glad we can do it together you know i saw all, uh, also we contact we were in contact with uh, serbs and uh, montenegro groups etc uh, uh, we have the same goals in fact you know to save what we can save now right now <laughs> still can can save you know and then all, all, uh, and go from the beginning and and to do a good job, you know. I just see on, on Facebook that uh, somebody who listens to our talk is uh, talking about the nature park Papuk, where where uh -huh. he sees, sees huge amounts of logs running out every day. So so I fear I fear I mean now I I, I will try to move the commission uh, to actually investigate. I, and it's I, I really feel sorry that it needs an, an an outside Croatian MEP to actually bring that to the commission. It, it would actually I, I would expect some Croatian. MEPs taking care uh, for this issue, and and uh, I I hope that that uh, that the commission now finally is taking steps against that. But I fear that what I've seen last time uh, in Chernimlaka and Vahoshki Luk is just the tip of the iceberg, uh, and I, I fear yeah. I, I will have to come back and and just show that this is not a single case but that this is structurally happening across the country, no matter which nature park, which nature protected area. So, so I, I think I, I, will, I, I will have to come back because otherwise, as you say, I mean, if we don't put pressure and, and also if we don't reach people in Croatia, I, I very much hope that Croatian media start to, to speak about that because okay. if we wait too long, there will be no forest to protect anymore. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm afraid uh, you cannot expect from uh, Croatian media to react because uh, uh, maybe do, uh, they will rather do it, but uh, uh, very often uh, they are under the lawsuit, you know, because Hrvatska Shume uh, want to silence them and uh, uh, they're very good in it you know mm -hmm. when uh, somebody uh, uh, is writing uh, about uh, green squad or about me or 
or uh, uh, about the uh, Croatian forest, they sent them lawsuit. You know, it's a pressure. It's against the uh, uh, the laws of the freedom of speech. In, in, in fact, you know, it's uh, but uh, that's they do. That's the way they do. And uh, from our uh, media, you cannot expect too much. I understand them. It's fair. Well, well, it's I, fair. I, I don't. I don't give up the hope. Uh, I, I must tell you, and I, I've seen in other countries, like uh, let's take Romania as an example, where we had a comparable situation. Most of the forests is state-owned, uh, a state-owned company actually in, in 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 charge of running these forests, and there we've seen a lot of illegal deforestation, even in national parks. And but but citizens, citizens are more and more standing up for their forests, for their rights. Uh, for their clean water, which where forests are hugely important for. And there was a lot of protests on the street uh, in, in Romania. And meanwhile, even institutions are starting to pick up on that. And 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 there's a huge pressure also on in, there is home silva in that in that regard, uh, which is Havatsky Schumer in, in Croatia. Yeah? And, and so I, I, I really hope that there's many citizens uh, in the future standing up for their for their rights and for their forests because from where else change should happen no? and then i also put some hope on the on the juridical system because if you say there's wrongdoings there there is there wood is stolen you even said there's corruption issues we we have to we have to have a, a juridical system that is able to investigate and if they find then to go against it i think it's really crucial Aha, i see one more question coming in and this is to you uh Vesna. um uh, if, you, if you had informed Croatian MEPs on that matter, uh, had, did you have meetings or, or was it only that you were collaborating with me? Maybe we answer this question as, as the last round. Uh, so were you in contact with Croatian MEPs? Uh, indirectly, yes, but they are not interested in. You know that uh, I, was, uh, I had a meeting with uh, one of them. And uh, they promised a lot of things, but uh, we based. We waited mm. six months, more than six months, have nothing, and then we we go by ourselves. And then, uh, in fact, I I uh, contacted with you first. You know, mm. I have no, mm. I don't believe mm. to our MVPs. You know, I, I, I will do that. Um, once I'm back in, in Brussels and Strasbourg, I, I have some contacts to Croatian MEPs. We cooperate, you know, when it comes to the Balkan countries and to accession and so on. So with some of them, I have good working relations. I, I, I will talk to them and see see what their reaction is. If maybe maybe they start to get interested now. Um, maybe, yeah, as there's the movement already and they see I'm doing it and maybe then they think, well, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm you sorry. I wish you luck, but some of them are not interested because we are accusing accusing them uh, to be uh, in the story of criminal and corruption. Uh, uh, the second part is, is also involved in this because it's uh, now nowadays we have uh, some uh, uh, something uh, a different policy at uh, at party, you know, leading party, and some of them are not interested at all. You know, I will for, give for them, the uh, parliament is a private business, uh, collecting money, earning money, or, or some. They are not interested in. You know, uh, too many talks, too many promises, but work zero. So uh, I don't believe you. You, but uh, I wish you luck. Yes, uh, I, I, will yes. I will give it a try. Yes, 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 yes. Because okay. uh, uh, I must uh, tell you some. Um, uh, if you, if you will have some time uh, to visit. Uh, a few days ago, uh, they alert us. Uh, I have some report uh, that Croatian um, forest prepared to cut our uh, rainforest on Velebit, so we can visit it together. All rainforest is, you know, what rainforests are, you know, so we can go there and visit it together. Okay. So it is a top of criminal top. For me, I'm, uh, I say I'm not uh, professional, uh, but uh, as a citizen in this country, uh, 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 for me, uh, uh, wetland and, uh, and uh, 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 rainforest is a sin, sin.
seen in my country. Yes, Vesna, I, I will find time somehow. You know, my schedule is extremely tight, but keep me updated. We stay in yes, contact sir. on that. I, I'll also report back what the commission answers to the letter and so on. We stay in contact. And uh, and I know, thank you so, so much. You're in your organization. I know you're doing all of this voluntarily in your yes, in your free time or in your pension with your small pensions. Mm -hmm. I, I have a huge, huge respect for the work that you thank do. You. And uh, I, I, yeah. Let's meet soon again and uh, we stay in contact. And, Looking forward. Yeah, let's try as much as we can. Thank you, Thomas. I hope uh, we can do a lot together. We did a lot, but uh, step by step, uh, as we, we can, as you have time, we'll do that. We must save our, our uh, environment. We must save it. We must say stop. We must uh, cut this because it's uh, illness, it's sickness, madness, you know? So thank you again. We stay in touch. Thank you so much, Vesna. Bye.